Hey all, Alex from Music Hub here, and today we'll be doing a review of the 2013 biography by Rüdiger Safransky and translated by David Dollenmeyer, Goethe, Life as a Work of Art. I've talked about Goethe already in my review of Faust, but even then there are still so many aspects of his life that are worth mentioning. In addition to his writing, Goethe was also a crucial part of the political scene in Weimar. He was a close advisor to the Duke for a number of years, which increased his already impressive prestige and allowed him to apply his naturally probing, analytical mind to a multitude of things. Goethe also served as a figurehead to an entire artistic culture in Weimar, most famously in collaboration and correspondence with the German playwright Friedrich Schiller. Faust is actually one of several Goethe works that may not have seen the public light without Schiller's encouragement and suggestions, so he plays an important role in the Goethe story. This book was written by Rüdiger Safransky, born the 1st of January 1945 in Rottweil, Germany. A philosopher with a doctorate in literature, Safransky has written a host of scholarly articles and books on various German thinkers, including Schiller, Friedrich Nietzsche, and E.T.A. Hoffman. Even Goethe was included in a separate book by Safransky specifically concerning his and Schiller's deep but testy friendship. This translation was done by David Dollenmeyer, born April 1945 in Massachusetts, a uh, professional translator and a former German professor. And I'm actually going to start with the translation just because Dollenmeyer takes a very literal approach to translating Safransky's writing. He doesn't adapt Safransky's turns of phrase to match American idioms, but he, rather he keeps the expression exactly the way that it's said in German. And sometimes, I can't lie, this leads to some really clunky phrases where the German expression does not really translate over to American expression so well. And I also notice points where the book will go back and forth between past and present tense while describing a scene that is clearly in the past. Whether that was an artistic choice by the author or by the translator, I don't really know, but I'm not a big fan either way. It just seems like uh, a sloppy kind of writing style. But then you have the moments where sometimes these phrasings translate gorgeously into English. Just to read off a couple of passages that I took uh, from the introduction, Goethe was a collector not only of objects but of impressions. He loved what was alive, and he wanted to capture and give form to as much of it as possible. From a later chapter, chapter 31 specifically, quote, Thus, society is definitely a field for Goethe to prove himself in, but also the realm against which he must assert himself to retain his integrity. Credit both to Safransky and to Dollenmeyer for the original thought and for being able to convey that thought and that writing in another language so beautifully. The biography itself has a lot to it, and the different threads of Goethe's life can occasionally get a bit difficult to keep track of, but all things considered, Safransky does a great job at keeping you focused on one specific relationship, one artistic work at any given time, so that you're not overwhelmed. The literary analysis in this book is pretty short when it happens. Even Faust only gets something like half a dozen pages of analytical discussion. Uh, and that allows us to focus more on Goethe the man. And, well, he's certainly a fascinating figure, but his flaws, especially his strong sense of self-confidence, are readily apparent. And I do think they could have been confronted more directly than what Safransky does in this biography. I do think it's interesting how Goethe, despite writing works like Sorrows of Young Werther that deal with death and the macabre, uh, was actually terrified of death and anything associated with it. It makes these works feel like a sort of self-examination, reflecting on these fears and trying to understand them further, and I think that's a great kind of layer to add to my understanding of these stories. So in general, I do like this book quite a bit, but it's not really among my favorites that I've gone through in this dive so far. I think compared to the Jan Kyers book on Beethoven that I read and talked about back in my Beethoven biographies video, the Safransky book didn't adapt quite as well in translation, which prevents me from appreciating it as much as I probably could. But in any case, that is it. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time right here on Music Hub.